Anchor links have a problem. I've set up gallery right here as an anchor on my page, and when I click on my gallery link right here, it should bring me down to that anchor. However, if my header is fixed, it overlaps what I want it to show. I have to scroll back up, or maybe your user has to scroll back up to see what it is. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can never worry about that problem again. All right, first things first, let's talk about how anchor links work. If you're already familiar with how to add these into your Squarespace site, feel free to skip ahead. I'll put a timestamp for you where you should skip ahead to, somewhere over here. Um, but first, let's just talk about anchor links. How do we get those? How do we add those onto a page and sort of get that smooth scrolling effect as we click on the link? So what is an anchor link? How, what are the components of an anchor link? There's two components. We have the anchor, where we want it to scroll to, where we want our page to scroll to, and the link that triggers that scroll. So over here, we, we will have a link in our table of contents, and then I will set up my anchor right here where intro is, and do the same for gallery, set up an anchor down here, description down below, and events further down below that. So. First thing I like to do is set up my anchors first. And so this, I want to replace my intro text with an anchor. So to add an anchor link, we have to use code, code blocks. You could also use a markdown block if you're, if you're in a personal plan on Squarespace. So I'm just going to hit this blue plus. Uh, if you're on Fluid Engine, you can just add a code block using the add block button up there. But I'm going to hit code block. And now... I'm going to, I want to recreate this text right here is a heading four. To recreate that in HTML, I'm going to open up my code block, opening bracket, opening angled bracket, H4, corresponding to heading four, and closing. It'll automatically add a closing element right there. So we're just creating an HTML element right there. So between our opening tag and our closing tag, I'm just going to say intro right there. So now I have recreated this text. Now I need to add an ID. So this is a unique attribute, a unique ID just for this element. So before our closing uh, angled bracket right there, I'm going to say ID equals and double quotes. Now in between these double quotes, we're going to put whatever we, this can be anything we want, but it's good practice just to make this whatever we have in the text right there, just so it's very clear what we're adding. Uh, or what, what the ID is corresponding to. So I'm just gonna replace it and say intro right there. So there we go. I've created an anchor with a unique ID that I want to anchor to. Now let's trigger the, the click right here, the actual anchor link. So I'm gonna highlight my intro. I'm gonna add a link right there. I'm gonna say hashtag in the URL and then whatever I put into that ID field, intro right there. And that's it. So let's just see if this works. I'm going to hit save. And now let's open this up and just click on intro right there. And you see, boom, so something worked. But what it did was it jumped us down. So it didn't smooth scroll us. It just automatically jumped us straight down. And it put this, with, which is our anchor, at the very top of the page, which is like right below our URL bar. However, it's being covered by our header there. So we'll fix that a little bit later. But the general structure of this is working. So I'm going to now do this for, I'm gonna get rid of our intro text right there because we have it in the block. Now I'm also gonna do this for our other one. So I'm gonna get rid of gallery. Now let's add in another block in between. Gonna delete all that. I'm gonna add my H4, close it out. So we have our opening tag, our closing tag. You can create, I like doing line spaces or line breaks because it makes it a little bit easier to see and just say gallery in between. Now let's add right before our closing angled bracket right there, ID equals double quotes and in between our double quotes, gallery. Now let's turn our gallery link right here. Let's make this a link with hashtag whatever we put in. This is case sensitive, so be sure this is the exact same text case sensitive as we had in our ID in the element. Hit apply. Done, save, and you can test it right afterwards. Now we're jumping down to the gallery. Okay, so I'm going to quickly pause this video and do it for these other two elements as well. You know the process, you go ahead and do it for whatever else you need to. All right, I've got it set up with my table of contents that jumps me down to the different anchors 
on my page description and events but this isn't very nice because it just sort of jumps around it doesn't really show the user where we're going on the page and far how far down so the solution to this is very simple all you need to do is go into your design custom css area type in html opening and closing curly braces like that and just say scroll dash behavior colon smooth semicolon and that's it now as we hit intro gallery it smooth scrolls around all right i want to mention one more thing about anchor links before we move on you don't have to have text in the anchor you can just make it an empty element so right down here maybe right here let's add another code block i'll show you how to do it delete what's in there opening angled bracket and just say div and then closing angled bracket it'll close out it'll add our closing tag which we absolutely need and then before let's just add a line break between these two so we can see before our closing angled bracket right there i'm just going to hit a space id equals double quotes and now again you can put in make this id anything you want it to be let's just for simplicity's sake let's just call it anchor now we can add another anchor tag this is going to be between our intro and our gallery but let's just put it at the bottom they don't have to be in order going to highlight it and add a link that is targeting in the URL, URL area that is targeting whatever ID we just created. So I'm just going to say that. Done. Save. And now we should be able to hit anchor and it brings us down to that anchor we just added. But we're still having this problem where our element is being covered up by our header. Our anchor is being covered up by our header. So let's fix that. All right, now let's get into actually fixing this overlapping problem. Now that it is overlapping, we want to get it to scroll down to about here so we can actually see the anchor that we have there. So it's actually quite simple. All we're going to do is go into here. We're going to edit the code blocks that we've added. Let's just add some line breaks to make it easy for us to see. After our ID here, but before our closing bracket, I'm going to say class equals anchor link. So this could be whatever you want. I'm just calling this anchor link just because it makes it very easy. What I'm going to do is target this anchor link and apply some CSS to it. So I'm going to go back, hit done, save. Let's go to our design custom CSS area. I'll scroll back up. It's jumping all around. I'm going to target our anchor link. And since it's a class, I'm going to say dot, paste in whatever value we had there, anchor link. And just say uh, this is a scroll margin is what we're using, colon. And I'm just going to say 200 pixels. Now, this is going to just offset our scroll by 200 pixels. So let's just hit save. Let's see if that works on our intro. Perfect. That works. But as we move down to gallery, it still doesn't work. We need to add that class to every single anchor link that we create. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to copy that entire class with the double quotes. And let's just add it in to all four of these. So before our closing tag, our closing bracket, and after our ID, I'm just going to paste that in, the same anchor link. And I'm just going to, for every anchor link that I create from now on, I'm going to paste that class in there, anywhere on my website, not even just on this page. Done, save. And now with our scroll margin, boom we can see easily see whatever we're scrolling down to. So there is the perfect anchor link. This is, I would, I'm using this on all my websites. Highly recommend you doing the same. Let me know if you have any problems or questions with this or tweaks or future updates you might wanna see with how to make an anchor link even more perfect. I um, hope you have a great day.